What's up, everybody? We're back, and it's Tuesday, but took a look at the futures. Not looking too hot right now. Um, so with saying that, I do like Estow. I think Estow looks pretty decent. It's a shorter on the Dow Jones uh, 30, and um, I think they still got a ways to go down. Um, tech stocks got beat up pretty damn good. Um, they, they might go lower, I, but you know, they've already dropped a lot, so I'm not really feeling it. But the um, Dow Jones, man, I think I think that's got a that can plunge, you know. Like, I, they ran it all the way up to like 40,000, and now it's chilling at around 33,000 as the overall. And that shit used to be like 18,000 during Obama years, you know what I mean? So it's already up over 100% since Obama. Like, come on, brother. Um, I mean, I know the economy got bigger, whatever, but, you know, they're printing all this money, too. So, you know, it's kind of like the yin and yang. Now, silver, gold, they're they're slightly, gold's a little, little red, and uh, silver is slightly green. And silver's <clears throat> approaching, like, that 40 RSI. It's kind of like a, if it breaks, you know, it goes lower, It's it might be heading back to 18. Might be able to scoop up some cheap, uh, cheap silver bullion if you're into that sort of thing. But um, it's it's just comical because, like always, you know, silver drops, the paper silver, the futures, and then the physical silver doesn't really move much lower. Whereas gold, there's like a sixty dollar premium, maybe even more than that now. Um, but there's a large premium on gold to buy the physical. So when the actual paper gold drops, there really isn't much of a difference in the price when you're buying that physical gold. Even when it drops, like it could drop a hundred bucks and you're still gonna be paying a fucking $60 premium. It makes zero motherfucking sense. <clears throat> I guess if people are buying it for whatever price, you could charge whatever the hell you want, I suppose. But we'll see. Uh, a lot of shit's been going on. You know, you got the uh, Ohio, Ohio train wreck disaster conspiracy is going wild still um, I did see Mike DeWine um, is doing like an emergency meeting today about that and um, people were arguing if the water is good or not man that water was never you know what especially in Ohio River that water was never fucking safe to drink to begin with I mean I'm sure it's all right but you know it's not gonna be like some natural spring water like people think it's supposed to be <clears throat> you can get those CPI testers and check your your tap water and see how much uh, how many contaminants are in that shit. And you know there's going to be probably hundreds of contaminants, regardless if it's in Ohio or not. That's just the way it is. Like you're just not going to get that pure water. Like with all the <clears throat> industrial the industrial complex and you know businesses that you know got chemicals or whatever chemicals um coal oil all that shit sewage it's got to go somewhere man you know so they're using creeks whatever and then it gets filtrated and you assume it's good i guess but i did see one thing um if people were into that shit um the osmosis machines apparently get rid of 99.9 percent .9 of all the impurities chemicals and whatnot and you can buy these um cartilages which basically filter out whatever the fuck is in your water that you don't want in there sulfur shit like that kind of interesting kind of expensive too um for like the big machines like 500 bucks but you know if you want that clean crisp water get that osmosis machine hopefully silver doesn't have too much uh, lower to go um i'd like to see this bounce but you know Tough market right now. We're out.